Hey guys, I am the math professor Kyle Martin. This is the channel where we do your math homework fast and accurately. Today we're talking all about transitive property in our Geometry Proof Reasons playlist, okay? We're gonna give you a quick definition of it, a brief example, as well as two real proofs, all in less than two minutes. There are timestamps in our video player down below. All right, let's get into it. All right guys, quick definition here for the transitive property. It says if AB is congruent to BC and BC is congruent to CD, then AB is congruent to CD. You'll notice I have a couple of these underlined because this first one is gonna end up being congruent to our last one because they're both congruent to our second, all right? So it's almost like we cross out that second one. It's kind of like a middleman. If it's congruent to the middle, the middle congruent to the last, the first is congruent to the last. All right guys, our first proof for transitive property says that B is the midpoint of AC, C is the midpoint of BD. We need to prove that AB equals CD, All right? We have B is the midpoint of AC, C is the midpoint of BD. Those are both are given to us, All right? And then I have to say that AB is congruent to BC and BC is congruent to uh, CD. That's all because of the definition of a midpoint. Whenever I give you that word, use it, okay? And then the one we're interested in is that AB is now congruent to CD because if I kind of cross out my middle man here. If they're both congruent to the same thing, they're congruent to each other. The first is congruent to the last. That, of course, is our transitive property of congruence. All right, and then remember that when we have something that's congruent to the next line it's equal to, that is the definition of congruence to finish out this proof. Proof two. All right, proof two on the transitive property here says we're given that angle two is congruent to angle three, all right, which actually occurs in our second line of our proof. So a little bit strange. Okay, so what's our first line? Our first line, angle one is congruent to angle two. Well, notice those are vertical angles. Okay, what about our third line? Angle three is congruent to angle four, also vertical angles. Which, of course, you guessed it, our last line, that leaves us with transitive property. Is it, yep, one is congruent to two, two congruent to three, three congruent to four. We actually cross out two parts in the middle there so that one is congruent to angle four. That is the transitive property. Hey guys, I hope this video on the transitive property helped you out. If it did, please help me out by subscribing to this channel. That way I can make more videos for you in the future. We'll see you in the next one.